In this video, we're going to take a look at adding an external link to a web page. But before we can add that link to a web page, we need to add it to Cascade Server. In this example, we're going to add a fictional email address to Cascade Server and then add it to a web page. The first thing that you need to do is go ahead and select your external links folder. And this is where all the external links that have been added to Cascade Server exist. And we're going to go ahead and select New, Default, External Link. And we're just going to type in Mail to because we're going to make it an email address. And we're just going to say somebody at somewhere.com just as a fictional address. And then select your system tab, and we're going to enter a system name, and we're going to say somebody's email address. And whatever you type for system name will appear underneath your external link. So, for example, Alumni Association is a link, Beth Miller email, etc., etc. So, go ahead and submit that. Now that we've added the external link to Cascade Server, we can actually add that to a web page. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go into the Patrick page, just my practice page. And what you need to do, as always, is select your Edit tab. And we need to have some text that we can make into a link. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in somebody's email address and you could also type in the address itself and after you type something in what you want to do is highlight what you want to make the link and then go ahead and select your insert edit link and go ahead and leave that as internal because we've already added to Cascade Server and we're going to select the browse button and go ahead and find your external links folder and within this folder we're going to select somebody's email address our fictional address and we're going to go ahead and confirm that and insert it. So now somebody's email address has become a link, but we need to save that by submitting. Now that we've submitted it, somebody's email address is a link, and the actual address we wrote out is not a link. It's just simply text. In order to make that a link, what we would want to do is go to the Edit tab, highlight the text that we want to make as a link, just like we did before, and then go ahead and select Insert, Edit Link, leave that as internal, and we're going to Browse, and go ahead and select your External Links, select somebody's email, our fictional email address, confirm, insert, and now the somebody at somewhere.com becomes a link. Go ahead and submit that to save changes. So now we have two links that point to an email address.